Hi, I'm Simply Jelly Jam. I got a large roll of 5 feet by 3 feet white prime cotton canvas. I wanted to put this on the backs of the bookcases that serves as the craft cabinet doors. I cut two separate pieces slightly longer and wider than the bookcases. My dad helped by stretching the canvas while I nailed it onto the backs of the bookcases. There were a few wrinkles when I finished, so I ended up renailing some areas. I later cut off the excess canvas with a knife. I previously sketched a design I wanted to recreate on the doors. I love Disney's Lilo and Stitch movie, so it only made sense to me that I use this for the design theme. I doubted my ability to resketch my design at such a large scale. So I went ahead and set up my old projector and traced my original sketch on the canvas. Before I started painting, I took some time to figure out how I wanted to hide the nails. I eventually decided to use a thin trim to do this. Once I had that figured out, I started painting the background colors of the doors. Once I was happy with the background colors, I used extreme double-sided mounting tape to mount the trim. The trim was easy to cut with a handsaw and a miter box. Once the trim was up, I went ahead and continued painting my design. I primarily used acrylic paints to paint my design, but I did use a few Posca markers as well.
I nailed the ends of the trims onto the door and then filled the gaps with putty. I sanded the putty after it dried, but I just now realized I forgot to paint the trim. I guess I'll have to do that later. I used white duct tape to hide the seam on the sides of the doors. I later cut off the excess with a craft knife. day where I ruined and had to repaint the greenish panels of the door. Fortunately, I love the new vibrant green color. I used my Cricut machine to cut out vinyl quotes. I cut nearly two rolls of permanent premium black vinyl. When it came time to put the quotes onto the doors, I wasn't worried about perfection or having everything lined up evenly. With the doors decorated, I was ready to move on to make my own resin tabletop. 